Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week we're looking at some of the changes Todoist has been making since the beginning of this year. Now in particular what I want to do is to focus on the filters and the view options because this gives you tremendous customization abilities and it also means that you can really strip down your daily task list to the vital few tasks that really matter each day. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into my Todoist now and I will show you some of the new things that Todoist has been working on from since the beginning of this year. Okay, so I've done a video on Todoist view features in previous episodes, but things have changed since the beginning of this year. First up, let's go into the view section here. So I'm actually, well, let's start off in my today view here. This is my demo account, but what I want to do is just show you that we have a lot of tasks. Now, Todoist automatically organizes your tasks by flag, or if you have a time associated with a tag. So let's just go down to, let's say this one here, I can add today and let's just add a time. So let's say, okay, 1400 hours, because it seems to be, I'm gonna add that time and save. Now watch what happens. This will now go to the top and it's not flagged. So adding a time to a task will always put it to the top. Then it comes by flag and then it's some version of projects and how when you added the task and so on and so forth. But for most of people, if you want to know how your today list organizes itself, well, by default, it organizes by flag or time. So let's have a look at this now. So normally I would have around about 15 tasks in my task list each day. Some are what I would consider uh, must do tasks. Others would like to do tasks. Those are the non flagged tasks. Now this view is fine, but what you can do is you can actually organize this a little bit better. You can go into the view section, which is up here on the right hand side, click on that. And you have a number of options go group by and I'm going to group these by label uh, by priority. Okay, and now look what happens. So it's organized immediately now by the label I've got sort by I leave as default, but you can sort by alphabetically assignee if you're actually using this with your co workers due date will would be rather unlikely because it's today anyway, date added priority or project, I'm just going to leave this group by priority. And what you'll see is that now I can say, right, these are the must do's and these are the would like to do's and these is if I get time. So how you decide how to use the flags, that's entirely up to you. Okay, so let's move into your filters and labels. And for most of you now, if you've updated to the latest version of Todoist, you will now find that your filters and labels are up here on the top underneath upcoming and they've moved completely from here. So when you click on that, you get all your filters and all your labels. So you can go in here and you can edit them or like in this case, I can just go into my filters and labels. I can click on today's focus and it will give me today's focus. Now, once again, in here, I, I just have these set up by default view. What I like to do, particularly again with this, is I'm going to, again, group by uh, group by priority because that makes my life uh, so much easier. I can instantly see. I can need to, if I want to, I just focus on this area and it's organized nicely. This is the way I like it. Now, if you want to go into your filters and labels and edit these, well, you can go into these and just click on the three dots here and you can now edit from the menu there and I can edit this and create however way I want to do it. 
So that's how the new filters and labels are going. Now, one thing I want to point out, let's go back into my today's focus. I cannot move these at all because I am using custom sorting. Now, actually, if I go into here, you can't move it anyway because today's focus is a filter. The only ones that you can actually move around, if you like, I can move this around if I wished, but it's not actually going to do anything because I'm custom sorting. If you want to move your tasks around, you need to remove the custom to uh, sorting and then you can move these around however way you wish. So I can move them around like this and I, if that's what you want to do. Now, I don't particularly like that. I prefer to organize these by date due. So I view as a list, group by, I'm going into here to sort, group by not group by date, sorry, I want to sort by date. That's my favorite one for this particular project. As soon as I do that, I cannot move these around now. I mean, the, the grab handle is there, but as you can see, it doesn't move around. So I'm just gonna leave that as it is. But, and you cannot move around to today view either because today is basically a built-in filter. So just keep that in mind. The only, ta the only place where you can move things around like in here, I can move these around because it's in a project, it doesn't really matter. But as soon as I apply a filter or it's in today, it's not going to be movable. Just I, I keep getting a lot of questions about why can't I move my tags around, my tasks around? That's the reason. So this is basically where all your filters and labels are kept now. But the most important thing is you want to try and keep to do it as clean and tight as possible. And one of the ways to do that is to use the custom sorting view. So I can go in here, I can change this to anything I particularly want and organize it the way I want. And this is just a superb way of getting to do it clean and tight so it actually works for you and you're not feeling overwhelmed when you go into your to doist. Hopefully, you found that useful. Hopefully, you got some value from that. Thank you for watching, and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now, I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently, I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.